My name is Albert Lee. I'm a major in the United States Army Medical Corps. Currently, I'm serving as the Aerospace Medicine and Occupational Medicine Program Director at the Department of Aviation Medicine, which is part of the Medical Center of Excellence. That's a great question, and I get that question a lot. Everybody thinks that we're out at outer space. However, my quick answer, my elevator answer is actually, we take care of the people who are working their offices off the ground. That's the target population, whether it's little planes, big planes, commercial planes, all the way up to outer space astronauts. So those are the target population that we take care of. I like food and I will start with talking about ice cream. You go to an ice cream shop and there's freezer full of ice cream. They different color, different tastes, but they're all ice cream. So all the, we, there are five aerospace medicine programs in the United States. Three being the three branches of the military and two civilian programs. They all have the same basic curriculum of public health. So usually master of public health and different rotations and courses that prepare you to be a general knowledge of aerospace medicine. However, each program have a little bit of different flavor like the ice cream do. And Army, since our aviation is mostly rotary wing helicopters, we focus a little more on the helicopter side. Navy and Air Force are a lot more focused on jet, uh, little jets, fighter jets, is the big uh, focus of Navy and Air Force, the fighter jets and the big cargo planes. So they all have slightly different flavor of physiology, pathophysiology, and how the flight environment affects the person in the environment. And the other civilian programs, they also tailor to a little bit of FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, or NASA more towards space. So they all have a little bit of different flavor while they have the same basis. I brought a list because it's a long list. We, if you're not a flight surgeon, army flight surgeon trained person, then we'll start with the flight surgeon course. That's a six week course. And then we have a variety of clinical rotations. And these clinical rotations are, are probably a little different than what you're used to as medical student or intern, it, it is really geared towards understanding the physiology and pathophysiology in the aviation and aerospace environment. So when you, we have like audiology, optometry, behavioral health, physical therapy, occupational therapy, ENT, emergency medicine, cardiology, urgent care and occupational medicine clinic, so all those clinical rotations are really geared towards looking at it in a viewpoint of an aerospace medicine specialist. We do have several, several of them also have just good old medicine, like emergency medicine. You're not going to go there and only look for pilots. You'll see any, anybody that comes in and you'll take care of them all and learn a great deal from them. But other ones, we really tailor it towards the lens of aerospace medicine. And there are a lot of courses that we send you to because the knowledge of aerospace medicine is not really taught in medical school or college or anywhere else. So there's a lot of just didactic courses that we send you to, which include the uh, aviation safety officer course and global medicine or military tropical medicine. It's a course that military does for infectious disease type and public health type courses. Medevac Doctrine, that's where you would go and learn about medical evacuation and how Army does it and how DOD asks us to do it. So, and Space Medicine, course set up by NASA, uh, that's a week long, and Space Cadre course, that's not really a medical course, but it's a two week of space operation and more specifically Army space operation. So you learn a lot about how Army is present in the space and how Army is preparing to be more present in the space along with the 
U.S. Spacecom of the DoD and the U.S. Space Force. That's the sixth uniform service.